Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel and today we are going to discuss how you can select and group the elements or text or different shapes in Canva and how it is beneficial and efficient for you in your working. So if this is your first video in the Canva series, then I recommend you to find out the playlist that is attached in the description. This is complete training playlist on YouTube. We have a complete course of Canva and if you want to join our this course or other amazing courses on Udemy or Skillshare, the link to both of these platforms are also in the description. So with this said, let's get started. Now let's see some of the quick tips on how to select objects and how to group the objects in Canva. Now, for example, if you want to select the multiple objects in Canva, you can just hold the left mouse key and start moving towards the other portion. So it will select all of the text and then you can move it around and just hold it from the left mouse key and then move anywhere around. You can move it upwards, you can move it downwards, anywhere you want. And whenever you want to deselect the text, you can just click anywhere in the blank space and it will be unselected. Now, if you don't want your text to move or disalign from what setting you have made, you can group all the text and the content in here. How you can do that? You will select all of these text and shapes like I just told you. And then after the selection, you can go to more options and you can click on group. So now whenever you select only this one object, you don't have to select like this. Instead, you will just click on it once and it will all select it as a group and you, then you can move it anywhere you want. So this is how you can group the elements, which is very convenient if you want to move some advanced designs which have multiple shapes and text involved in that. Now again, if you want to select and ungroup that now, you can just right click and click on ungroup and you can also do it from here for example group now if you, we go to more options you can ungroup from here as well and then you will uh, have the regular options to move each object and text separately now these options are very important if you want to keep things together and within the proper alignments now one other benefit of this is for example let's add a shape for example this one and if i have a shape in the background just like this and let me just format it to any other color. Let's say this one. And let's see if I send it to the background. Now what we will do is we need to keep this box inside the group. That is important. If it's not showing inside the group, first of all, we will ungroup that. Ungroup all of that and then select this box and let's see what happens this text box has some additional text so let's say we have removed this so basically first of all we will keep an area so that all the elements and text can come within this filled shape of yellow box so once we are done with this let's select all of these and group that again now, one of the benefits of the group is, let's say this is the text and let's say in this text, I will add, let's say line one and line two. So you can notice that this additional text is being out of that colored shape. It is not automatically expanding. Now let's control Z and undo and let's make sure that there is no additional spaces in here. If there are, then get rid of that by pressing the backspace and just make sure that all of the elements, including the text and the shapes are within this colored box. After that, let's select all of these texts and go to group and group it. Now, if I want to add some lines to it, let's see, I will add line one, line two, so you can see that whatever is contained in the group, it will automatically expand the colored box according to that. So this is also very convenient. You don't have to change and adjust the shape according to the text. Rather, it will automatically expand by itself. 
So this is how you can use and take the benefit of grouping and selection options in Canva. So guys, that's it for today. I hope you liked the video and if you did, hit the like button, subscribe to our channel and turn on the notification bell so that you can get notified of all the future videos. This is Saad signing off from today's video. Take care.